Hello and welcome to another doodle that I have here with the big round stick, red pen in my sketchbook. It is really warm today. I actually opened all my windows and I just realized I ran out of deodorant this morning. And so now I'm super sweaty and I need to buy some deodorant. But I think I don't even know what store to go to because the deodorant I get is... It's more of an all-natural deodorant, but it does have fragrance in it. But it's a natural fragrance because when I use the regular deodorant, it makes my skin break out really bad. Um, and I forget why I was even talking about this. Oh, uh, the weather. Um, but yeah, it's almost 70 degrees now. And I've got most of my windows open. And it does get pretty warm in my apartment, being that I live in an upstairs apartment. And in the summer... It gets really, really hot in my apartment. I mean, it is Ohio, but being in an upstairs apartment, all the heat just gathers into my room. But I do have a little air conditioner that I will probably be using in about a month. And this is a little tiny air conditioner. I put it in my living room and I just set it on low and I have it run for most of the day to keep me nice and cool. Keeps my computer from overheating, keeps all my art supplies in good condition because I don't want all of my pens and different paints and everything getting too hot. Especially some of the things like crayons that I have, or maybe things that are kind of a crayon type of a medium, those will melt. When I lived in Florida, always had the issue. You ever leave a crayon um, in a car, or like a box of crayons, I remember. Um, I was using them when I was really, really young, and I was drawing with them, and I forgot them in the car, and then the next morning I went out there to the car to get them because I remembered it, and it was just a rainbow color of crayons mixed together and melted in the crayon box. And so I took that huge chunk of crayon that was all melted together, and I actually would do drawings with it, and the colors would change as I was drawing. And I found that kind of interesting, but... I also did have huge sheets of paper that I'd lay out in my kitchen table and do a bunch of drawings of stuff. I would just draw dinosaurs and other things that people draw when they're younger. But the weather is getting better. And I'm looking forward to it because I'm feeling better. I feel more motivated. And I want to do more drawings. But today is one of my days off. And I've got more time to draw and make some doodles. And this sketchbook is a sketchbook that I just kind of draw random things in. There's nothing planned. I don't worry about making it too detailed. It's a cheaper sketchbook, and so I pretty much use stuff that I wouldn't use on more expensive paper in. Uh, for example, my roaching isograph. I will use that on smoother paper or more expensive sketchbooks. And my cheaper sketchbooks, I'll use something like a ballpoint pen, a gel pen, a just a regular pencil or a mechanical pencil or something like that. Because this paper is slightly rough, and so it's not going to work with my roaching isograph and some of my other technical pens that require a very smooth paper drawing surface to draw on. But this doodle here, um, just a bunch of random shapes and triangles and squares and whatnot, no idea what it is. I just make things, and that's what I enjoy doing with creating these doodles. But go ahead and let me know what you would like me to draw next, and I will start on that. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you next video. Have a great day.